How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with I Download Blog. Want to preview a awesome new jailbreak tweak? It's called Vlox, and you are about to see what I mean right now when I say awesome. It uses swipe gestures on your app icons on your home screen to open up folders that show either notifications or a whole new enhanced folder. Let me show you what I mean here. Swipe down, you can see you can compose a new message with the Messages app. If you swipe down on the phone app, you get a list of all your recent phone calls and you can tap uh, either the phone icon to call that person or hit the little messages icon to compose a new message. Calendar, same deal. You can view your calendars, tap on that calendar entry to open up your event details, etc. You can also do so with the camera app. You can actually load up your camera right from your springboard, which is really awesome. You could take a photo, uh, tap use, and that photo will save. And then if you swipe down on the photos app, guess what happens? You can actually share the photos that you just took. You can Twitter the latest photo, copy the latest photo, you can email the latest photo. And the great thing about this is that you can do so without opening up the app. Now, what about weather? Yes, you can view all your weather that you have configured in your weather app. Just swipe over like this. You can view the extended forecast, all that jazz. You can add a new note directly from uh, your springboard. And you can also interact with toggles just by swiping down on the settings app. Kind of predictable, but as you can see, it's really awesome to be able to do that right there from your home screen. Now, what else do we, there we go, a, a new tweet in TweetBot. If I swipe up on the TweetBot app icon, I can actually view the DM I just received just like that. And I can tap it to load the DM. If I pull down, I can actually clear any notifications that I, I have coming in there as well. So mail messages like that. Now look what happens when I open up Safari. When I swipe on the Safari app icon, I can actually browse to a website right there on your springboard and I can open that in the Safari app just by hitting the share button just like that. What do you think? Pretty slick, isn't it? Now let's see what else we have. Let's swipe over. If I swipe down on Cydia, yes, I get to see all the latest Cydia updates right there in a convenient list on the springboard. Now, what about Google Maps? Yes, I can view my current location just by swiping on Google Maps. It works with Apple Maps as well. And as you can see, iFile comes into play. You can browse the native file structure of your iPhone just by swiping on iFile. You can open up uh, files directly in iFile just by tapping on the file in question in this view. And believe it or not, this is just a preview of the tweak. I haven't even touched on all the features and there are still more to come in the final version. Here is the settings for VLOX here. You see the preferences, always NC folder for apps. So basically what this allows you to do is always open the notification center view, the notifications. So if I turn it off on TweetBot, it'll load the enhanced folder view, which shows a view of your Twitter timeline on the Twitter homepage. But if I turn that option on, it'll disregard the enhanced folder view and just show me the notifications. And of course, notifications work for every app as long as that app can receive notifications. Now the icon swipe directions, I have it set to up down right now, but you can set it to up only or down only and just a simple respring will make that change take effect. Now, another thing I like about Vlox is how in depth the how to is. It really tells you how to use the tweak which is very handy. If you're using it for the first time, you need to know how to use it. Vlox doesn't fail you there. Again, this is a preview of an awesome jailbreak tweak. It is upcoming. It will be on Cydia, I'd say probably somewhere within two weeks or so. Let me know what you guys think about Vlox in the comment section below. What other features would you like to see? What additional changes would you like to see? How do you think it looks so far? Do you think it's as amazing as I'm hyping it up to be? Because I frankly do think it is on an OXO-like level as far as quality is concerned. So let me know what you guys think about Vlox in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.